Hello and welcome. In this tutorial, I'm going to illustrate switch statements in PHP. So I'm going to start with just a blank page here, and I'm going to do an opening PHP tag. Head on down and close it up. It's going to happen at some point. Not going to put any HTML constructs in here. And for this example, we're going to talk about days of the week. So I'm going to create a variable named day. Notice I'm declaring a variable indicated by the dollar sign, and I'm going to give it a string value like Monday. Every statement ends with a semicolon. This one's no different. This is a string because it's enclosed in quotes. Notice I don't explicitly declare the data type. It's implied or interpreted. All right, so I've got a variable. My day is Monday. Now, I could do something with an if statement. So if Monday, then our special item of the day, right? So we're talking about lunch specials here or something, or free, free gift, right? So if it's Monday, you're going to get cake. Tuesday, cookies, Wednesday, soup, and so on. So there's no reason I couldn't represent with that with an if statement, but I'm going to use a switch statement. So I'm going to use the keyword switch, then parentheses, and in parentheses, it's the variable that I'm going to evaluate. All right, so my variable in this example is called day. I only have one variable. Then I'm going to do some curly braces, and those curly braces are going to enclose my switch statement. All right, so I'll fill those in as we go. So the next piece of syntax here is the word case. So in the case that day is Monday, notice I didn't need to put an equal sign, right? Just case Monday. So I'm saying if, the, if it's Monday, and then it's gonna be a colon, all right? So not a semicolon, but a colon, all right? So that's different because we use a lot of semicolons. Statement, colon, this is not a statement, it's condition, or I'm setting up a switch, so there's no colon or semicolon, but this is a colon. All right, so in the case it's Monday, I'm going to echo out um, ice cream. All right, I don't know what I said I was gonna do, but you're getting ice cream on Monday. And I'm gonna head on down and I'm gonna make a mistake, so don't get too carried away if you realize what I would have done is not exactly what I wanted to do. Then I'm gonna say case. All right, and the next one we'll do is quite predictably Tuesday, colon. And then, so if it's Tuesday, I'm going to echo out uh, cookies. And I am just going to end it right here so I can show you why this isn't going to do what I want it to do. It's Monday, so it should say ice cream, right? It's not Tuesday, so I save. I head over to my web browser, I refresh, and I get ice cream cookies. So again, notice one thing I could have benefited from doing is putting a line break after ice cream, but I didn't. But the problem is I got ice cream and I got cookies, and I'm gonna tell you why. So this evaluates from top to bottom, and it says, all right, is day equal to Monday? It is, so it prints out ice cream. Now, where this is different than some other constructs is I actually have to tell it that I'm done, right? Because otherwise it's gonna go through and it's gonna print out everything that's within the switch statement. So it goes down here, kind of ignores this, this doesn't really do anything, and it goes to here and it prints out cookies. So you have to use the keyword break, right? And so what this is, it's kind of like curly braces going from here to here. It's saying, well, this is everything I want to happen for Monday. In this case where Monday only does one thing, it seems kind of goofy and it is kind of goofy, but this really helps a bit more if you have more than one step happening. So guess what? I'm also gonna go down here and I'm gonna write break and that's what I want to have happen. If you don't have a break, it's going to print out everything for every statement, which is not what I wanted. My next case is gonna be Wednesday, a little harder to spell. I'm gonna put a colon, and the special for Wednesday is going to be cake. I, this, oh, well, I didn't write that correctly at all. Echo, cake. There's no I there. All right, so our special for Wednesday is cake. Uh, I also need a break statement here. Notice the break does have a semicolon because it is a statement. And next case, Thursday, colon, and echo. So on Thursday, our special is going to be chips. And our last case that I'm going to concern myself with, because at some point I'm just repeat. Well, I, I have them already actually at the point where I'm repeating, repeating, repeating. We'll do case Friday. And if it's Friday, colon, I'm going to say this special is nachos. So echo nachos. 
All right, and we're kind of set up here. So Monday, I'm going to get ice cream. Depending on the day of the week that I set this variable to, I'm going to get a different special. Certainly worth running this because it's pretty easy to make mistakes. Okay, that's a little bit surprising that it worked, but it did work. Uh, I just say surprising because there's a lot of syntax errors I could have made. Let's do Friday. I like tasting the first one and the last one because that kind of tells you something. So I say Friday. That should get down to here. And this is really just an alternate syntax for writing out an if statement, if that makes sense to you. I refresh, and I get nachos. Right now, what you might be thinking, and where this differs quite a bit from an if statement, is predictably at the end, you usually have some kind of a catch-all statement. Um, and in this case, that's going to look like this. So you say default, which kind of makes sense. I'm saying, well, if it's one of these, then do that. Otherwise, default to this value. You don't have to have a default value, and notice that I did follow it with a colon. But I'm saying anything other than those days of the week, uh, we are closed. All right, so we're only, work, we're only open Monday through Friday, I guess. And as I often forget to do, I forgot to echo that. And so if you put in any value other than Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, or maybe you misspell something, I go to refresh this, and it should say we're closed because Friday, right, with no Y on the end, isn't really a day. So I guess that makes sense. I want to show you one more thing that we can do here because this is a good time to uh, illustrate this concept. I'm going to go back in here, and I'm going to add another case. So I'm going to say case Saturday, right? And this kind of conflicts with what I just did colon. I'm going to go down here and I'm going to say case Sunday. All right, you may be wondering, what the heck is that going to do? Well, in this instance here, it's like saying in the case that is Saturday or the case of Sunday, I'm going to do the same action. So I'm going to echo out. So I guess on the weekends, maybe with you get a uh, you get a fortune cookie. I don't know if that makes sense. Probably not. And I'm also going to have a break statement, uh, colon. I need a break here, too. I don't know how that slipped past. But I've got these all over the place where I missed my breaks. All right, so now we're good. Sorry, I know that was sloppy. Probably should redo the entire video for doing it all weird like that. Let's just make a learning uh, moment out of that. So you have to have a break after each one of your cases. I don't know why I forgot that, but I did. So I'm saying in the case of Saturday or Sunday, you're gonna get a fortune cookie. I think it's probably pretty self-explanatory that Saturday will work, but let's try out Sunday. All right, because you're wondering, is this second uh, condition gonna get caught? I'm saying it's gonna print out fortune cookie. Let's have a look. And it does. So it's very possible that you would have two conditions that evaluate to the same outcome. And now my default is not going to be we are closed because I've got a message for every uh, day of the week. I'm going to say enter a valid day. All right, and this is a better usage of a default, right? So if you give it a garbage out input, now it's going to let you know that you gave it a garbage output. Like say my day of the week is Steve. How about Steve O? Just to make it even more ridiculous, I save. I refresh, and that's not a valid day. So that's pretty much every aspect of a switch statement. So it's really just an alternate syntax to an if. Uh, some people really like it. It's a few characters shorter, uh, has a strengths. I'm not a huge fan of it, to be honest with you. Uh, I'm a big fan of ifs, if elses, but this does have it its ap applications. Uh, tune in. I'll be covering get and post in my next videos, and those are going to be useful. Thanks for watching.